to AT Beauty. I today I have for you guys um, kind of like a mini haul ish situation. It's not a haul. It's like a haulish favorites jumbly video. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have purchased a few newer things in the last like month or so. Um, and then I just got a couple things in the mail that I wanted to share with you guys. So this is kind of like things that I've been loving slash newbies that are t like I'm adding to my collection. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm calling this video because definitely not like a haul haul, but it's definitely not a favorites favorites. You know what I'm saying? So we'll just go ahead and get started. My first favorite is Ebates. I just found Ebates, which I know I'm probably late to the game. But if you have not heard about Ebates, it's such a cool, um, it's such a cool situation. I don't, what would you call it? Oh my gosh, what is Ebates? Okay, I'm gonna start over. Um, it's kind of like a coupon-ish situation where um, you, it's for online shopping. So you sign up, um, get your info on there, and then you can kind of take a look at their list of stores that they use. So. Um, or that have a relationship with them. So Sephora is definitely one of them. Target's on there, Nordstrom's on there, Overstock.com is on there. So basically there's like different offers that each store hooks up with Ebates on. So just recently Sephora had like 8% back from your purchases for online purchases with Sephora. So, okay, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm kind of rambling. But um, it's such a cool situation. Like I got, I think like five bucks back for my last purchase. So you're gonna go ahead and buy that stuff anyway at Sephora or wherever you're going to get your stuff. So why not get money back? The only thing that I don't like about it is I really like purchasing stuff in store. And apparently there is a way that you can hook that up but I haven't quite figured it out yet. So, um, but the fun part about online shopping is all the crap you can get <laughs> as far as like freebies go like so I did that my Ebates thing where I got 8% back for my Sephora purchase and then I went into the Sephora website and I got just I got literally I purchased two things I got my hope in a jar moisturizer and then I got a Lancome shaker which I'm going to talk about these two items in just a second because they're totally amazing but um I literally only got those two things and all of this came with it. Uh, granted, they're just samples, but you know, sometimes you want to try some things that you've heard about or that you haven't heard about and see if you like them. So um, the first thing that I got was obviously the birthday present. My birthday is in June, so they got, um, they hooked me up with the Marc Jacobs Beauty Insider little situation. Um, and it comes with just like a liner, like a coal liner and a little baby lipstick. And when I say baby lipstick, this thing is for like toddlers. Like, I don't know, <laughs> like it's truly a sample, but they're really beautiful products. Um, I can swatch them for you, I guess. So this is the lipstick, super pretty. Um, but again, it's literally for babies, it's so tiny. Um, and then this is the coal liner. I love this liner, like how, so, easy to apply. Um, the next thing that I got was the Kat Von D Locket Primer and Foundation Duo Sample Pack. And I like seriously don't understand how they do this because they just send you this like random shade. Maybe there's like a way online that you're supposed to like choose your shade but um, I got this. This was just kind of I think I can't remember if this came with like just because you know online they give you like three free samples like just for shopping online um but there's like promo codes that you can get hooked up with and stuff too so this was in there i haven't tried it yet but i definitely will um the next product here oh this was the um this was when you check out on the sephora website there's like different promo codes that you can look up and underneath there's like Oh, have you seen our new promos? Blah, blah, blah. And so I um, clicked on that and there was like a bunch of different things. I think you could either choose one or two. This was the one that I chose. Um, this is by Bare Minerals. And it's just like the Bare Skin Serum Foundation and the Perfecting Veil. I'm not a huge Bare Minerals fan. I wore Bare Minerals for years. Um, 
but it deposits so harshly into my pores and it creates a lot of um, texture. So I've been kind of like, uh, meh about the bare minerals situation, but who knows, maybe I'll like it again. Um, and then I got this. This is another one of the random samples. It's, let's see, MD Solar Sciences Daily Eye Repair Emulsion. So I'll give that a kick, give it a try. But I mean, I'm not gonna go over every little stinking thing in here, but I seriously got like five or six samples um, just for purchasing online. So it's kind of fun that like, that's even available. And then I got my 250 point, um, cause I have like 700 points, I think. And I was like, I should probably start using some of these. And the 500 point ones, I just was like, I got the Amazing Grace perfume by philosophy and had I smelled this in the store I would have never bought this because I did not know this my grandmother wears this so I will be giving this to her I was like oh my gosh why do I smell like grandma Jojo you know what I'm saying so that's just kind of one of my favorites ebates online shopping and then the other things that came in it so cool so cool so I'll go over my favorites that I definitely know have worked for me um, and then I'll go over some of the newbies that I have gotten recently so um, this is the Kate Somerville acne treatment and I think I can't remember if I've already talked about this but it is an ongoing favorite for me it is a pretty recent purchase within the last couple months um, but I have been getting crazy crazy acne from pregnancy so um, I just Last time I was pregnant, I got like this beard of zits and that's exactly what's happening again. So this kind of helps to keep it at bay. Um, it's kind of a dupe for the Mario Badescu acne treatment. Um, and I guess there's like only one ingredient that's missing, but this was at Sephora. So I just like, oh, okay, I'll try this a couple months ago. Um, but like I said, I really, really enjoy how it works. It's super drying. So I do have to go in um, with a moisturizer pretty intensely after that, but it seriously works. Cause what it does is it seeps out the seat, like the excess, se <laughs> excess sebum, which is the oil in your skin that builds up. Um, and then basically per it's, I mean, it over dries your skin, which isn't good, which is probably why you had the zits in the first place. <laughs> but um, if you just kind of hydrate and moisturize properly after that then you're good to go then the moisturizer that i got that i just talked about um briefly is hope in a jar i have been getting the sample sizes of this as much as i can like the last i don't know six months just to see how much i like it and it's official i love it so i had to get the big jar um it's not cheap but it's so good it's so um so hydrating and it doesn't break me out. Um, it's for all skin types. I have one more thing that is not super new to my collection. This is the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. And I got this instead of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder because I wanted to see if there were any others out there that I could get that were a little on the cheaper side. I think this was like eight or nine bucks on Amazon. So again, this is the Ben Nye neutral set colorless powder um i really really like it just for baking purposes but i definitely don't use it to initially set under my eyes if that makes sense when i was doing that i noticed that it really clung and emphasized my wrinkles which i don't really even have that many wrinkles not to be like you know but i found that it accentuated them even more um so what i do now is i just set my under eye with another powder of some kind. I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder initially, and then I'll go over that and bake a little bit. And when I say bake, I just mean like initially brush on a decent amount of powder, and then I wipe it away pretty quickly. So I'm not totally baking in the sense where I'm leaving it for like 10 minutes, but um, it does brighten a lot as well. So I really like that aspect. So yeah. I would all in all consider this a really great product. I also have been using it to kind of clean up any contouring or bronzer that I've been kind of messy with. Um, so it's just all in all a really good setting powder. Moving on. So I have a ton of lip products. So maybe I should just end with lip products. Um, but I just purchased this highlighter by MAC. So I'm kind of late to the game. This isn't new, I don't think, but this is 
uh, Light Scapade, and this is the Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter, and it's amazing. I'm wearing it right now. I mean, hello. It's so good. I love it. So I'm so glad I bought this. So yeah, it's a good deal. Good purchase. So like I said, I have a ton of lip products that I wanted to chat about. Um, the first one is the Lancome Juicy Shaker. Dude, I was not thinking I was going to love this so much. I had watched, um, I think Jaclyn Hill got these like months ago. These aren't super new either. They're, they're newer, but they're not like last week. They just came out, you know? Um, and when she first talked about them, I was like, I don't know. That seems kind of like a waste of money, blah, blah, blah. But then I just recently watched a video by Samantha. Um, so she's got like SSS Samantha, blah, blah, blah. And she was raving about these juicy shakers. And I'm like, dang, maybe I need to try these. And so I tried one. It's so great. It's so oily and just like natural looking. It gives you the, the tiniest amount of pigment. But when she said it was like kind of like the Victoria's Secret-esque vibe, kind of just natural glow to your skin and lips. I mean, that's really what it is. It's so great. I feel like you can wear it with or without makeup. If you're doing like the no makeup makeup look, it's perfect for that. I wear that all the time, all the time. The next two products are by ColourPop. I just got these in the mail today. Um, the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now is the Botanical Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop. So it's this one right here. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch these for you. I didn't want to swatch the Juicy Shaker because literally doesn't even show up like it's that um <clears throat> it's that oily so anyway the next satin lip that I got is this really beautiful shade and it's called Naked Ladies so oh my gosh these are so pigmented I love them so this is the botanical on the left wait I don't know what this is going to be for you um <laughs> so it's my left so it's probably your right um, this is the botanical shade and then this one here is the naked ladies. I love these shades. These are so perfect for summer Yeah, you guys Know how much the coral scene is just seen in the summer and this is such a beautiful shade So I'm so excited about these the next product that I got recently is the Mac cream sheen Gloss these aren't new. I think they're actually reformulating some of their lip glosses um, from what the gal said at the counter, so I don't even know how much longer these are going to be around, but <clears throat> I just got the Fashion Scoop color. This is like a really, really clearish, neutral pink um, gloss, and I just wanted something that I could go just over my natural lip or really over any other shade um, to accentuate or kind of make that glossy gloss look. Should I mention it? I don't know. It's not like a super favorite of mine, but the color is so great that I'm almost like, okay, I'll tell you. So this one is the Makeup Revolution. Um, I've had this for a while. This color is Love Nude, and it's a very, very dry <clears throat> product. So there is the Love Nude right here. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is like, <clears> throat> okay, hold on. For some reason, the swatch does not feel dry, but I, when I put it on my lips, it's so drying feeling, and maybe it's just I need to moisturize more or something, but um, the, the color itself is enough for me to suffer through the dryness because it's just such a beautiful nude. I feel like this nude would work on any anyone, like the deep, deep skin tones. Obviously, I'm super fair. One of those bronze goddesses out there. This will look great on you, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the color but like I said I can't say it's necessarily a favorite but it is definitely newish so I guess that's why I'm sharing it anyway yeah I hope this wasn't super rambly for you guys but I just wanted to touch base and share what I've been purchasing loving all that jazz if you're wanting to see how I got this look then just go ahead and keep um an eye on the channel and see when that comes out. All right, so there she goes. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. Bye-bye.